Howdy folks, Brian here. Um, today we're going to work on another whittling project. I'm going to attempt to make a chain out of this piece of wood, so a bunch of links linked together. Um, I've never done this before, so it might turn out incredibly bad, or it might not. Um, we'll find out. <laughs>
Okay, so we've gotten this far. We've got uh, got this sort of looking like a chain already, actually. Uh, but what we're going to do next is <clears throat> we're going to do next is kind of cut out these pieces. You can see, cut out the pieces right here between these two, between these two, and between these two little holes that we've made. Once we cut out those pieces, then it's just a matter of well, <laughs> assuming. <laughs> We can cut out these pieces well, then it's just a matter of sort of uh, shaving everything down. Anyway, in order to do that, I think what I'm going to do is just create a stop cut like that. And then cut up to that stop cut. I think that'll work pretty good. Let's do a little bit on the other side. Eventually, we'll go all the way through that thing. idea. So we'll do that all, all the way around, or I'll do that all the way around. I won't, um, probably won't do that on camera. I hate to bore you people to death, but, but that's the next step. And, uh, you know, I might actually just start cutting away on some of this stuff too. Just to kind of round it up. Actually, looking pretty good. All right, I'll come back later with a progress shot. <laughs> okay, so, um Got it to this point, and uh, it's, I think it's looking pretty good. So next step is to try and separate all these. So basically, uh, going right here, cut all the way through. Going right here and cut all the way through. Going right here, cut all the way through. Also, um, trying to round it off more, make it look more like a. You know, like a chain. I guess you could you could keep it square, you keep it round, doesn't really matter. But um, I think I like more of a rounded look on this one. So probably we'll do that. Um, yeah, not bad for a first chain, I think. I, hopefully I'll uh, get it finished and it'll actually look like a chain. <laughs> Wish me luck.
Okay, well, I actually uh, broke down and just uh, used the coping saw to cut through these lines. It was it was much easier. Um, took a lot less time. So now <laughs> all I have to do is uh, round over these edges a little bit and then cut off between here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but cut between here and here, so between here and here. Once I open these up all the way across, then I think we should have our chain. Uh, and then it'll just be a matter of kind of cleaning everything up and I know it looks pretty rough right now, but but you can actually feel it. It's it's flexing a little bit because it doesn't doesn't have that support there anymore. Um, so yeah, we're getting closer. Getting closer. That part's next. All right. Okay, um, this is where we're at currently. Um, as you can see, this is this is kind of what it used to be, right? So that's what it used to look like. I can get a zoom in there. And now I've got two that are free. So um, <clears throat> I think this will kind of give you an idea of what what I'm doing. Basically, I'm just going in here, you know, and cutting cutting through these lines. Same on this side, cutting through, and then cutting up into them. Anyway, um, probably not very exciting to watch on a video, but I uh, wanted just to stop and show you where I was at, give you some progress. I'm going to keep going. Uh, I've got a kind of a long ways to go, so I'll stop again, maybe give you another progress shot. <laughs> um, I don't know if perhaps I could have done this first before I cut in between here, if that would have made it easier, or I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time making a chain, so I don't know. Next one will be easier, I suppose. I think it would have been easier if I had a bigger a bigger piece of wood, not, not necessarily longer, maybe shorter but fatter, you know, so that the rings, so I had a little more space to get in. And cut the pieces. I think if this was something you were doing the first time, a larger chunk of wood so you'd have more space to get in and, and, and cut out some of these things, I think that would be a, a good thing. Good starter project. Bigger piece of wood. But um, I'm still having fun with it, so yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you.
Well, folks, I'm almost done with this. Um, I'm cleaning up the links now, so I've got, uh, I guess, three more to go that are still rough. I, I like to keep them a little bit rough. I like just kind of the, the flat plane kind of uh, engraving. But um, <clears throat> that's the basic idea. I think that if I were to do this again uh, for the first time, <laughs> I would probably um, I'd probably start with a, a chunkier piece of wood uh, and maybe not make so many links. Um, it'd give me a, a chance to sort of uh, figure out what I'm doing wrong before I get too far. Oh, another little tip. I've been working, this has taken a long time, and so when I get to a point where I, I've stopped kind of reworking a piece, I'll go ahead and, and put a, a little pin on it, say, okay, that's where I've stopped, rather than having to go look and say, okay, I, I cleaned that one up, I cleaned that one up, I didn't clean that one up yet, so it gives me a little uh, head start. But yeah, this has, taken, this has taken quite a while. It has been fun, though, I will say, and... At some point, I'd probably do another one again, uh, but it might be a little while. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, so just, um, just so you kind of have an idea, we went from that to that. This was basically the same, uh, same size piece of wood that we started with, and... That's what we ended up with. So, not bad. Been a lot of fun. Um, I think I might actually give this to Andrea and uh, see if she wants to make something out of it. Um, just kind of hand it off. <laughs> anyway, I guess uh, I guess that's it. Everybody have a lovely day.